What's good everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Don Fiction. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to stay up to date on all content going down on this channel. Appreciate you, love you. Now back to the video. Nah, this ain't nonsense, this is non-fiction. So excuse if the content is offensive, it's official. Now that we have been acquainted, this is my pleasure, my pain, you were entertaining. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nonfiction, and we have a brand new reaction for you. This is another trailer that dropped yesterday. It's Indiana Jones number five, the Dial of Destiny trailer. Now, this is not. This is a movie that when I first we first seen the sneak peeks for, uh, during the Disney the Disney events a couple weeks back, I totally forgot they said they were making a movie. I know it had been pushed back multiple times because I guess the script was bad, but this time when they introduced it, the idea of the movie, and kind of talked about it. You know, the man himself came out. So when when he came out and he kind of spoke on the movie, that's like one of the first times in a very long time where you felt like, okay, and Harrison Ford's out there. Normally he didn't always come out there, or if he did, it was kind of like a like a solemn type of introduction where he wasn't. He didn't he didn't feel excited. So therefore, you as a fan, you didn't feel excited. But this is the first time he came out there for me that I remember where he was say, he just said, you're going to love this. Like the script is really good. Like he, he basically told them that he wasn't going to do it unless the script was good. So I am excited for this one. If you, for y'all, y'all that don't know, I've seen every single Indiana Jones since I was a kid. I've watched them all multiple times with, with family and the story is just cool. I watched a TV show. Yes, I watched the TV show, but I love Indiana Jones, and I hate that time happens and we age and we get old and can't just continue with the same person over and over and over and over. Yes, that's not how the world works, but here's a new trailer, Indiana Jones 5, The Dial of Destiny. Let's get into it. I miss the desert. Hey. <laughs> oh, man. I miss the sea. That's so crazy. I miss waking up every morning. Wondering what wonderful adventure the new day will bring. That one was so crazy. When they had the, uh, the altar of God, that was crazy. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Oh, he's in there, too. I don't believe in magic, but a few times in my life, I've seen things. That one, that one was things crazy. Explain. But it was a super fun story. So much what you believe. It's how hard you believe it. Uh, good job on a music choice, how they did that. Kind of. Oh! <laughs> Who is this man? I'm her godfather. Oh, related. <laughs> Get back. <laughs> and that's a reference to i think that's number two where the guy comes it's like his, it's him he's being chased and it comes like a little duel in this little alleyway where there's a bunch of people watching <laughs> and the guy pulls out a gun pull out a gun he pulls out a whip <laughs> he decides to start whooping him such a such a fun scene such a fun scene and that's a great throwback to to that part that movie um so nostalgic feeling in the trailer um like I said, it's one of those things where you don't want to see the ending of it because it's, it's such a great family of movies. Of course, they did have a few in the middle that weren't the best, you know. So much potential for the Shia, Shia LaBeouf one, Shia LaBeouf one, but it just didn't didn't pan out the way people wanted to. Um, but I do have a lot of hope for this one itself. I definitely feel that the potential as a as a closing bookend to the story 
I feel like we might actually have something because they're they're reaching back into the lore of the story and bringing in characters that are related to the characters from the original, but also a few characters who, because they're still alive, they're given like their swan song in this in this final iteration of Indiana Jones as well. So, in that essence, this will probably be a good ending. And unfortunately, you probably won't get another Indiana Jones until they find the right person, which won't be for like fifteen years. You know what I'm saying? So. I can't wait to watch it because I'm going to do my best to watch this in the theater. I've never been able to watch one in the theater because the one with Shia, I just didn't have a good feeling about it. So I didn't go to the movies to watch it. But all the other ones, I was so young. My parents, my parents didn't really go to the movies like that. So, um, yeah, so I've seen them all, but it's not in the theater. This one I would like to see in the theaters. I would like to see in the theaters. I'm, that's that that's that is what it is so with that being said let me know what you thought about this trailer let me know what you, how you felt about the reaction of the trailer my personal I, the feels are there 100 percent um and if you have any references or possible videos that i can react to please post them down in the comments or if you have a name or title let me know and i'll try to find it and let me know if you know who posted it or where you might have seen it but with that being said hope you guys have a wonderful day night evening morning noon wherever you are in the world today my name is not fiction I appreciate you. I love you. Enjoy your weekend. And um, there's more videos coming. Yes, there's more. There's more. There's always more. Also, if you're into sports, my sports channel that I have co-host with, my boy Zach, we do a great we do a great show together on Mondays and Thursdays for Monday Night Football and Thursday Night Football, but also do some basketball and sometimes occasional Sunday Night Football. And we've done some FIFA World Cup. So if you're interested in it, this sounds like something that you might be, be want to be a part of, check the links down below appreciate you love you peace out y'all and the feels <laughs>